everyone. I have curtains. I just bought ready-made curtains. And down here at the bottom, I hemmed it to length. And then I put these little weights in so that that way it'll drape nice and not blow around quite as much. Then up here at the top and along the side over there, I'm going to be adding some little pieces of Velcro. These little pieces here. And they're going to basically go on the back like this. And then they will stick to, because this is the hook portion of the Velcro, it'll stick to this carpet, which I know you can't see it, but I'll put a couple pieces there and that'll close that gap in. And the same on the other side, you can see how it, you know, the Velcro sticks to the carpet pretty easily. In the back, I cut them to, even with the law. And this time I left it a little bit longer I didn't want to leave it longer on the other curtain because it's hitting the floor and it gets pretty dirty down there. Up here it shouldn't get as dirty. And by leaving it a little bit long, it actually blows around a little bit less. And this will get Velcro on these edges, just like the other, so it'll hang right up against like that. And I have four panels here so that I can just push them out of the way. And they're hung on the bamboo rods that I showed you in a previous video. And I have to do tie backs still. This will get tied in the middle. And they can be pushed this way also if I want. And they'll get in tied to the side. And the other thing I did are the blackout covers. So they're just held on by magnets and they're black on the one side. And if you look here, they're pretty stealth when closed. At night, it's completely black. You cannot see any light coming through them. So the first thing I did was cut the reflectix to the shape of the window. I made a template by placing craft paper over the window, pushing a pencil through along the metal edges and then cutting along the dotted line. Once I cut the reflectix to the shape of the template, I placed it on top of the fabric and then traced around it. I then measured out from there and placed a second line to make room for the fabric to overlap the window, making sure to leave room for a seam allowance and inserting the magnets. With the fabric inside out, I then stitched a half inch from the outside edge, making sure to leave an opening at the bottom to insert the reflectix. After turning the fabric right side out, I pressed the corners and seams with an iron. I then centered the reflectix onto the outside of the cover and lightly traced around it. I then stitched along this line, creating a pocket for the magnets to slide into. I inserted the reflectix and then smoothed it out after making a few trims to get the fit just right. Once I decided where I wanted to place the magnets, I slid them in from the bottom and secured them in place with a few hand stitches. You could probably do a little neater job than I did here.
After sewing in the last magnets at the bottom, I finished the cover by closing the bottom with a hand stitch. This side window, I did the same way as the back. It goes on with the magnets, just like that. Just put them in place all the way around. The only thing I did do different is I left a larger border here because it has to be able to wrap around this frame of the window. On the back, it's flat and I only had to give it like an inch all the way around, whereas this one, I have to allow for that amount of space to be covered in addition to the overlap here. And to stow them away, you pull off really easy, and then because of the magnets, they just kind of clamp to themselves. And so here I have all three of them put together, and as you can see, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And then I have a spot down under the law from which they'll st stow away. How do you like my jars? I see a lot of van dwellers do this and I think it's a good idea. I added the blue jars because I thought it was a nice touch. Um, I wanted to show you how that wiggles there. We put 3M tape on these and see how they don't make the noise? Well, like this one and that'll keep them quieter going down the road. I can put all my beans, grains, nuts, things like that in the jars. They'll stay bug free. I can see the contents easy. It's nice and clean out of the way. Little touches. Got a lot more to do. <laughs> what we're doing next is the mattress cushions. They're going to be box corner cushions, similar to these here only on a much, much larger scale. We'll show you how we do those in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon.